It's the Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini and Box and I. Like, subscribe, comment, click that icon. Yeah. All right. So, I love this matchup. We've been talking about this fight for months behind the scenes. Caleb Plant versus Jose Uskataki. I, I may be pronouncing his name wrong. Excuse me, y'all, but, yo, I love this matchup for one odd reason, man. They both undefeated. Caleb Plant has showed he has nothing but boxing skills. Slick, he makes everybody look like shit when they fight him. Pure boxing um, scientist in the ring. Uskataki is awkward and heavy-handed with knockout power. This man is a fucking problem. Real problem. Like, you seen what happened to the Durrell, the both, um, both fights. He even retired Andre Durrell. Retired him. He's It's over. Re- Andre Durrell just retired. Ain't shit. So, the, cra- the good thing about it, the girl dropped the belt. You know what I mean? The girl was my favorite super middleweight, but I know he's on his end to his career, so I don't mind him not fighting Jose Kataki because the, the boy would just slaughter him, just slaughter him. And I didn't want to see it. I'm such a fan of the girl. I don't want to see him get slaughtered, slaughtered like I just saw Andre Durrell. You know what I mean? But Uz Kataki is now, Jose Kataki is now the new IBF champion. I don't know how he didn't he didn't fight for this belt. They just crowned him champion automatically. But the interesting is the interesting thing about this fight also, can Caleb Bla- um plant outbox Jose Uz Kataki? Or can the heavy hand of puncher awkward um stop Caleb Plant? That's the thing. I don't know who is gonna win this fight. I like the both fighters. I don't care who win. I just wanna see an amazing fight. I believe I'm gonna see an amazing fight. The IBF did the right thing on ordering the fight. That's that's what I like, man. To see two top undefeated fighters fight each other. Caleb Plant beat um, Porky Medina. That's his best win. And Jose Kotaki only had Andre Durrell. And he was falling off because he, he suffered a lot of losses. So, but what's your, what's your take on it? Yeah, I'll break it down like this, man. I've been watching Caleb Plant since he was like 8-0 and on PBC. And this the realest opponent that he's going to that, – that I've seen him face. And to be honest with you, yeah, Caleb Plant, he's looked fucking sweet hands, slick, all that shit. Did great – didn't barely got hit against fucking Porky Medina where Medina had one leg. He jabbed Medina like eight times in the last round, you know. But let's be honest, this the fight that's going to tell us everything – about Caleb Plant, because you could just tell from the way Uskataki fights, you're going to find out does Caleb Plant have heart? Can he do that for 12 rounds against a guy like Uskataki? Does he get caught at some point in the 7th, 8th, ninth round and, and start getting walked down? You know, all the, all the questions will be answered on Caleb Plant. The real Caleb Plant will stand up that day, whatever the date is. You know, you can tell me what the date is, whatever. But to fight, the bottom line is we're going to find out who Caleb Plant really is. All that stuff he talks, I love it. He talks that shit. I want to die in the ring. You know, he's got a story, heartbreaking, lost his daughter. He he seems like a hard worker. But honestly, the real is going to come out because that kid, Jose Uskataki, he might not be the best boxer, but he's a fucking scrappy, fucking claw his way to kill you in the ring. He's nothing to play with in there. And, and he proved that against Darrell two times. You know, Andre Darrell, as much as people want to talk shit, trust me, 
he got a lot of, yo, know, you know, he had a good career, solid career. It wasn't a great career like a lot of people expected him to have, but it's still Andre Durrell. He's still got um, a pedigree, and Uskataki just fucking walked through him, bro. So we are going to find out is Caleb Plant real or is he just – he could do that against that level of competition, be slick. Because, you know – Certain, you know, he, he definitely got the skills, you know what I mean? But we just – we haven't seen him against that type of competition. So that's why this fight is a great fight. I can't fucking wait for it. It's one of those fights you get very excited about because you get to find the in boxing. As a fan, you're like, yeah, you know, I, I'm rooting for Kate LaPlante. Now let's see if he really is the real deal. He got some pressure on him. He got a good fight in front of him. That's what hypes you up. Like, that's a fight you mark on your calendar, not a fight that you know, son. You know, you finally go find something out about somebody. If he goes and he fucking, bro, like, if Caleb Plant goes in there and, and schools Uskataki, whoo, man, we got we, we got a problem on our hands. Caleb Plant is going to be the, the white version of fucking, I don't know, man. They're going to be calling him the white Sugar Ray Leonard. You, you going to get that hype behind him. But uh, I can't wait, definitely, on my calendar. But that's all I got on this fight.